I popped in to see Stephen before he uh, before we came out, and uh, before I came over here, he's feeling uh, he's feeling weirdly better. I don't know. I know amazing. 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 This just one glimpse of how the 19-year-olds bringing people together. On stage, comedian Jason Manford, who organised the charity gig, spoke to Stephen in his hospital bed. Hello. Hello. What's been the maddest thing you've done uh, that you're allowed to tell us about? No, I can't say. You can't say? <laughs> Woo, the charity gig sold out in minutes and was arranged in days, another sign of the vast and sweeping power of a young man's words over the internet. He really is a unique young man and everybody didn't even think twice about getting on the Twitter sharing his page. The way he's handled the whole thing is just so positive. It really is inspirational. Yeah. There's a lot of negativity and a lot of cynicism in the world and I think this shows you know, there are good people around and lots of them. After his bowel cancer Stephen's diagnosis, son. now incurable, Stephen's original target of raising £10,000 eventually became £1 million. And through the power of social media, partly helped by celebrities, he smashed £2 million and then even more. His is a growing legacy that for now shows no sign of stopping. Adele Robinson, Sky News, Birmingham.